And I'd like for you to see yourself as you're driving down this driveway today. And this time you'll be able to see it from a much higher perspective. And you see a shadow. You see a person at the door. And you'll be able to get closer now with your spiritual eyes. Who is that? It's you. It's it's you, Alba. Mm-hmm. It's um, another aspect of you. Mm-hmm. Like it's almost like your astral traveling while you're awake. Mm-hmm. Kind of like you can project yourself mm-hmm. while you're in a um, let's say simple state of mind. Yes. So take a moment and astral travel to see what it is that I'm doing and just have a conversation with that other part of me. You were just uh, readying the portal for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just um, readying the portal. Yes. And is this just one aspect of me? Look around and see if there are any others. Yeah, you're... Huh. You're sitting out on the deck with that Indian chief, too. Mm Mm-hmm. On the... uh, Yes. You're out there, too. But it's your... Your Indian part of your spirit, your... How do I express myself physically while I'm there with him? You're like uh, the little Indian girl, but you've grown up. Mm -hmm. You didn't get a chance to grow up. Yes. But you've grown up, so this is the grown-up you. I think that's how he sees you. Mm -hmm. That uh, he knew you. As a child, like he knew your father and respected him or something. And, yes. And um, he was fond of you as a child. And now he sees you in this aspect. Yes. Centuries later. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you're what that little girl would have grown up to be. Very good. So that part of yourself is learning from him while you're being you. That part of yourself Mm -hmm. is uh, catching up Mm -hmm. with him. Very good. So as you continue to look around, are there any other aspects of me that you notice? I'm seeing you around the cabin. Mm -hmm. It might be you that's visiting people in the cabin. Mm -hmm. Uh, Making sure they're okay and checking in on them. Yes. If it's happening while you're asleep, that's Mm -hmm. exactly what you're doing. Okay, very good. says, as you expand out, you can now see the different multiple aspects of Sabrina. And you could find the parts that have been shattered, the parts that have not been working with her. See this soul in the lifetime of Sabrina and how many pieces of her have been shattered away. What's the first?
first one that that you notice? Um, well, the first one. There's so many. Mm -hmm. There was one at around five years old. There was a other situation at around two. Mm -hmm. There was childhood was basically over at eight. Yes. Then uh, then um, Change in schools and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, my heart's been broken many times. Yes. Places you'd least expect it. Mm -hmm. um, but all of those pieces come together in the end when it shatters. It doesn't go away. It right. Just so how goes are all off, but then it comes back like boomerangs, and mm -hmm. you can be whole again. So notice how all of these shattered pieces are now affecting the life as Sabrina. It's all meant to be. Mm -hmm. It's becoming clear. Yes. There's no reason to dwell on it. Mm -hmm. Because it's all preparation. So as one shatters a glass, there are shards that still hurt. Right. Notice where there's the pain that is affecting Sabrina now the most. Um. Well... There's uh, there's pain in the heart. I mean, mm -hmm. and uh, how old is that pain? How old is Sabrina with that pain? Oh, heartbreak from early on. Mm -hmm. A lot of heartbreak. Yes. Um, and that, that's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. So as the heart was broken, there was some energy that was sent off from that heart. Notice what happened to the heart as it released this energy it didn't, get, didn't get it back again. Yeah, it gets very sad. Mm -hmm. But um, these are all just tests. We're in school. Yes. And um, she's still here. Mm -hmm. She's passed the test. And what doesn't kill you makes you closer to God. So she's... And an almost constant state of prayer yes. over that. So prayers are heard. And timing is perfect. perfect. So. so with all these heartbreaks, I'm sure there's a lot of scar tissue there. Uh -huh. Notice what this heart looks like to you with all of these breakages. Mm. It's battle worn, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but it's a warrior's heart, so. Very good. So, since it's so important moving forward for Sabrina to be working from the heart again, without the fear of it being broken, because she is now a warrior of the heart, are we ready now to begin to heal that heart 
Oh yeah, it's being healed. Mm -hmm. It's being healed. It's uh, step by step. It'll be stronger than ever. Very good. So let's put some light in it today. What color would you like to put into that heart so it's it heal? Golden, golden light. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Begin to fill that heart with that golden light. And notice what happens. Ooh. It's feeling um, full mm -hmm. and a little bit bigger. Wonderful. Like it got pumped up. Wonderful. So as that heart gets pumped up now, you'll be going be able to go to moments in time in which you'll be able to mm. foresee things and not be heartbroken. So rather than going back into any time, I'm going to ask you to progress into the future, into a moment in time in which things are going to begin to change for Sabrina. I'll count to three. When I get to number three, you will tell me what year this is. One, two, and three. year do you see on the calendar? It's this year, Alba. It's soon. Yes. What's happening? Um, things are going to happen in Los Angeles. Things, a lot of, uh, it'll be challenging, mm -hmm. but there will be new alliances made. Yes. Significant alliances. Mm -hmm. um, friends forever. Um, bonds, bonds will be made. Um, seems like there uh, will be all going through a challenge together. All of us. Yes. In uh, Los Angeles? Yes. Mm -hmm. Something and um, It'll be something we carry with us. It'll be a bonding experience. A bonding forever. experience. So how do you prepare for something like this? You don't. Mm -hmm. You just... Um, you don't. Okay. So a few months ago when I felt that very strong feeling that we needed to be there, that our net energy needed to be at this conference. Excuse me. Notice what it is that we need to represent with our energy. The Light Brigade. We're the Light Brigade. We're the Rainbow Warriors. We're the... We have seen things that others have ever imagined. Mm -hmm. And we've, um, we've got a network that's strong. We each bring gifts to the table, mm -hmm. and together we shine so bright. I mean, it's like uh, we're two or more gathered kind of thing. Yes. We, you know, I have a good size flame. You have a good size flame. We get together, and our flames just go crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the uh, more of us that are there. We'll have a bit of a reunion, and whoever's there together, we'll have a light that people will recognize and be drawn towards. Okay. And they'll benefit from it. Okay. Just you know, being there. Just being there. Mm -hmm. It's nothing that we need to do. No. Just be. Whatever we need to do will be presented to us in such a clear fashion that we'll understand that's we're that'll we'll follow it. We'll be so open to our path that when our path presents itself we'll know to very go good. ahead and take it, yeah. Very good. All right. So let's now close this scene and we're going to project farther out. I'm going to count to three and you'll see a little bit farther out. One, two, and three. What's happening? I'm, um, in the mountains, mm -hmm. I'm on a 
like I'm on a front porch with a rocking chair. Yes. And a cat. Mm-hmm. And, uh... How old are you there, approximately? Um, it's about 10 years in the future. Mm-hmm. I'm not old and decrepit or anything. I just, that's a beautiful view. Yes. And front of this place and uh, I'm it's not very it's about ten years from yes. now. And a lot of things have happened and somehow I survived. Mm-hmm. But uh there's been um some land changes on the earth. Mm -hmm. There's been political upheaval all over the place. Yes. There's been, um, huh, there's been UFOs. Yes. And, um, people are, uh, There's something going on like with a, I want to say there was a faction that was like a warring with another one and uh, then good guys came in and... This faction that was warring, are these from Earth? No. They were coming in and trying to... Uh, hurt everybody, you know, they were like, uh, wanted to take over mm -hmm. and make it their planet. Yes. And uh, then all all these the Galactic Federation or whatever stepped up and got rid of these guys and then everybody's like, yay, and <laughs> then everybody's like, oh, hey, these are good guys. There, there were bad guys, but these are the good guys. So then everybody was more open-minded, and then there was full-on uh, disclosure. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was still a lot of earth changes. And uh, Where are these earth changes? Look at the map of the world. What do you see different? Uh, okay, it's tilted. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Um, something going on at the South Pole, too. Mm hmm So just slow it down so that you can very slowly get the details. Okay. Well, something's tilted. It's It doesn't look like it's lined up the way you usually see mm -hmm. it on a globe or whatever. Where is the South Pole now? The South Pole is probably 45 degrees up from where it was. Mm -hmm. So that's a 45 degree tilt of the whole thing. Yes. Which caused um, plates to move so there were there were earthquakes, there were uh, land masses moved. Mm -hmm. Some moved up out of the water. Um, so there was a lot of water sloshing around. And, mm -hmm. um, so the water was displaced on the earth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, I don't know, if you get a pan of water or anything like that, or if you see a pool on a boat, you know? Yes. Uh, there was um, like a rapture type thing that happened. Some people decided to stay for uh, some reason. Some people went and then came back. I think I was sent back. I was sent back to be like a sentry of some sort mm -hmm. for other people that come to my place up in the mountains and then we can send them to where they need to go or they can feel like they have a safe place to figure things out. So I'm kind of like a 
I wanted to say hospice type situation. Mm -hmm. So explain to me a little bit about this rapture and how it is that you were able to leave and come back. Well, because my group was interplanetary. Now, there are some people that are literally just going to heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, they might be angelics that came down to check things out, help out a little bit, then they went back to heaven. So their body died? Their body disappeared. Disappeared. Because they're visiting angels. Okay. All right. Angelics. Hmm, okay. And then there were people from other dimensions that did the same thing. Well, the angelics are from another dimension, but these are people that actually came from like another timeline or something. Mm -hmm. And they just step back in time, and, and that's the ones that just disappeared. And then there's people just checking out left and right. They are just can't handle it. Um, world's gone crazy. Suicides are... Okay... I'm looking back from 10 years to today. Yes. Suicides are going to get, there's going to be more. And what is the reason? It's going to be rampant. What I is mean, the reason the mass for shootings it? and the suicides, uh, we're just seeing the beginning of it today because people are so lost they're going through the struggle of light and dark, and it's not an easy one. Jesus had a hard time in the garden, you know? Yes. So there are people you wouldn't think, you just wouldn't imagine. You don't know how tested they are and how good they are at taking tests. Mm -hmm. So people are just... <sighs> mass, you know... Mass shooting, stabbings, killing, bombs, whatever. People are just taking out innocent people with them. Yes. And um, there is a whole other situation with all that. Where on the other side, they're, they're going to have to go through major soul rehab. And mm. they'll all be put in another, like their own planet, their own existence, mm -hmm. for them to all hash out the karma and the entanglement from that. Yes. And um, eventually be able to um, meet with their loved ones okay. on the other side. But, but during, that, during that time when they're kind of being rehabilitated, they need to be on their own. Well, they're, yeah, they, it's like they have... Um, significant help on the other side. Okay. People that they knew or loved ones, forefathers, mm -hmm. will come help them go through the rehab process. And um, so they're all in their own, I don't want to say purgatory, I want to say their own dimension okay. for healing from all of that, you know, and um, and that's all the suicides of the mass killings, and that's, that's going to escalate before it goes down, and then after all of the other stuff comes to light, then there's going to be people just, I mean, the population is going to be dwindling here, mm -hmm. along with, you know, the fires, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, the storms. Yes. That's uh, not going to stop for a while. So how many years do you anticipate from 2023 that all of this is going to happen? Um, I'm looking at another three or four years of this. Mm -hmm. um, but it's going to hit a high point by 2024. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be just chaos by 2024. Mm -hmm. um, unbearable to look at the news. You know, just enough already. You know? Yes. Um, there will be other uh, forms of media that 
um, good people put together. Yes. That is good news only. Mm-hmm. And how to, um, you know, raise your kids in this kind of environment for them to be happy and healthy and, you know, good things that are happening and zeroing in on people that were heroes and miracles and all these wonderful things that happen on Earth. And that'll be raising the vibe, you know. Yes. The good vibe. Yes. Because the, the good vibrations will come out. They're coming out now, but within the next few years, they're going to be just as strong, if not stronger, than all the media that's making everybody go crazy. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's balancing out. God's right. hand is in things, you know. It's not going to just go to hell in a handbasket. Very good. It feels like it, but it's not. So, you know, help is on the way. How is it that all of those that did survive, how did they survive? Well, some of them, there's variables. Mm -hmm. Um, Some people survived because that's what they're here to do. Okay. It'll look like they're just the luckiest person. Mm -hmm. But they've had horrible lifetimes and said, this time around, I'm going to survive this to help others. Yes. You know, because we all came here for this, you know, mission. And um, some people will survive with the help of others where they wouldn't have survived alone. And it'll be eye-opening to them. There'll be a lot of them like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like in the movie, it's somebody that trips and falls, and then, you know, here comes somebody that grabs them and goes, come with me if you want to live, or whatever, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. and they'll go, oh my gosh, that, it, it's going to be a paradigm shift in their thinking and their soul just for that to happen. And right. it's going to, and other people will see that happen. It's just the, in chaos... There are miracles, Mm -hmm. and there's going to be so many of those that people won't just be looking back on it as a horror. They'll be looking back on it as a um, an opportunity for humanity to shine, Mm -hmm. and um, they will see how good we are down deep, you know, and that goodness will spread so that'll be a a big deal and how do you see the infrastructure of the earth and how people are traveling Mm, well with the uh, warring factions there's going to be a lot of destruction Mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of places you cannot travel there's going to be a lot of places you don't want to go anyway and there's going to be a lot of people migrating out of the war-torn places into other places. A lot of immigration. Are they doing this by walking, by driving? Every way they can. Mm-hmm. They're, they're having to run. Mm-hmm. You know? And it's a lot of them. So there's going to be many countries at war. We're seeing the beginnings of that now. Yes. Um... And with war, there's horror and chaos, and and um, then there's help. And there's people that will be migrating to other places in just droves, so people are going to have to open their hearts to them. Um, there'll be a lot of good in the middle of all this hell. Mm-hmm. So... Um, but it's going to take hand of God. I mean, it's going to take divine intervention because mm-hmm. it's just going to be time for that, you know? Yes. And with that divine intervention, there's some people who are going to go back home and mm-hmm. one way or another, and there's going to be some that go somewhere else. And then there's going to be some that have to stay, or they choose to stay. Yes. Like your fellows that are here on the property, they chose to stay and be guardians and sentinels on this property. Mm -hmm. And to look out for the, you know, 
the good people, the good land that they loved and yes. the good people on it, mm -hmm. you know. And there will be some of us that do go. We see the other side and um, we could be going to another planet, another dimension, another timeline. Um, going straight to, you know, one with the source. And um, we could be given the decision, do you want to um, take on another mission? You know, you'd be mm -hmm. real good at it. Yes. Kind of thing. And, um, you know, some of us will take that opportunity to help others. Okay. Thank you. I want to bring back this idea of these, the factions of the, uh, I would say, the, the wars yeah. with others. Yeah, the bad guys. The bad guys. There's been a lot of people with the misconception that extraterrestrials are here to, to save us. Some don't understand that there are other types of extraterrestrials that are not. Some of them, we're them. Mm-hmm. You know, some of them, they've been around before we were, you know, yes. they actually, we're, we're their downline. Okay. And, and they have an invested interest in us, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. And some of them are just so curious about us mm -hmm. because we have so much going on that they don't and they just think we're cool. So and then would... there's these guys that are just pea brain jerks that want to just destroy everything on this planet and make it theirs and they've done it to multiple planets mm -hmm. they just they're like a scourge they're like uh, locusts or something yes and um I'd say they're evil mm -hmm. but they're outnumbered big time so they can be as evil as they want to be but good wins you know yes so there's um, been other celestial wars, wars in heaven kind of thing. Yes. Mm. And it's coming real close to home. Okay. Because what we project off this planet can be picked up without a radio. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it can shoot out into immense mind boggling space you know you're sitting here having a bad day and you're angry a gazillion light years away they can feel it mm -hmm. you know they yeah. know it they can pick up on it it's like almost like ants can find a picnic you know what I mean yeah. just they they know that so us banding together with goodness and um, joy and um, all the wonderful things it is to be a human can, you know, the love vibe and everything, that can travel across space and time also and attract just the right people to help us through these hard times. And it can, it can diminish the the chaos that's happening mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. a kind word could go a long way nowadays you know yes yes so is there any warning or any message to those that are living the life now in 2023 as you look back what do you mean well as you as you are in the future looking back if you were to warn those that are in 2023 what would you say to them lighten up get happy do what you got to do to send out some good energy pray mm -hmm. pray for the leaders of our nations pray for the downtrodden pray for those that are considering harming themselves and others. Mm -hmm. Pray that they get the right love and help. You know, pray for all God's little children. Pray for all the 
animals. I mean, we really got to pray for our whole planet, everybody on it, you know, because it matters. And if you can get together with other people and pray, and I don't mean like, you know, pray in church. Mm -hmm. I mean, a prayer is a, a loving intention yes. sent for a reason. You know, mm -hmm. yes. to whatever higher power mm -hmm. you believe in, you know, but um, just keeping that going can help because like, seriously, when two or more are gathered, that is so important. It's like if you're on the phone with somebody and you're like, you know, things are terrible here. We should just, we should, you know, pray for these people. And even if you don't actually say, you know, what political organizations have called a prayer, just that thought between the two of you made a stronger signal than if you were separately thinking the same thing. Yes. Just that little conversation, you know, is a prayer. Mm, okay, you know? very good. So at this time, there are many who are prepping, who are... Uh, being prepared for any disaster. What do you say to those that are prepping? Well, good for them. Um, I feel like I should be prepping too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a lot of seeds. Yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what, do what you feel like you have to do. If your gut tells you to prep, go ahead and prep. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might It might be a practice for when you need to go to higher ground and do it again. Yes. But it is a proactive, good thing to do, putting your hands in the dirt and learning new things and mm -hmm. um, being able to provide for your family. It's all a good feeling from that. And it's, you know, doing something productive, yes. you know, that that's always good. So, um, and, you know, something hits the fan and you're ready for it, good for you. If you're in the wrong or, you know, not the right area for that to matter, yes. there will be a plan B that opens up to you. Okay, so always be open to whatever it is that your I mean, gut is telling you. If there's something coming your way, like a darn forest fire, and you're like, I'm going to sit there with my my tomatoes that I jarred. I mean, that's ridiculous. But, you know what I'm saying? So if something else comes your way that makes you move on, at least you've taken that knowledge with you to be able to do it elsewhere. Okay. So prepping is smart. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just making you smarter. Yes. Very good. And healthier. Mm -hmm. So all of these experiences that Sabrina has had throughout her whole life, these survivals in the water, in the desert, in all sorts of places, has this been preparing her for the future? Yes. Mm -hmm. She won't be shocked at okay. anything. She'll just go, okay, well, here's what we do. Okay. You know, it's in there somewhere. It'll come out if need be during okay. um, times of uh, duress. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to address at this time? Yes, we'll be meeting um, new people, Alba. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to... Um, send them a, a blessing. Mm -hmm. We'll be making new friends and you didn't know who your best friend was. What is it? You, you don't know when you met your last best friend that it was your next best friend? Yes. So I want to send really happy intentions to the people that will be in the Los Angeles area while we're there mm -hmm. and um, 
Um, I just want them to feel blessed. Wonderful. Send out that that from your heart. Mm -hmm. Now that your heart is full of that golden light. Mm -hmm. And with that, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to regress back into the year 2023. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to count from one to five with each number. You'll be waking up more and more. Eyes. Yeah. Five wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Oh. I do feel wonderful all over. Hmm? I had Let a big old tear shoot out of my face right when I opened my <laughs> Thank you. you. <laughs> wow. Oh, that felt short. That felt like a short. It felt short? Like how long do you feel that you were? Oh, it, didn't, it didn't feel as long as usual. How long do you feel? I'm sure it was probably... No, just tell me how much it felt like. Uh, not half an hour. <laughs> Uh, I think a lot of it was because it was personal. What time is it? Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> is that for real? Yeah. Oh, geez. It's a lot longer than you thought. Oh, yeah. Huh. Ten years ahead. It's going to be a long ten years, it seems. Yeah. We've got a lot about to happen. It's, it's building up to... Uh, um, I want to say crescendo. I mean, it's really, things are, it's at the point, you know, that people are just going nuts. Which is what we've been hearing for a long time, that those of us who are in the know uh -huh. are going to be able to kind of help those that... Yeah, they're losing their minds out there. There's a lot of very stressed out people. They've had enough. Mm -hmm. And our politicians are just pushing them and pushing them and poking on them some more. Yeah. And uh, it's going to get to the point. I mean, there's a lot of uprisings and things. Um, but there's going to be some wars. These uprisings are going to turn into something else. Something big. Yeah. I hate to think that. But well, who would have thought that just a few years ago... We would be where we are right now. No kidding. You know, I, re I remember the video, <coughs> the session that I made with uh, Gary, number 181, and people didn't like it because it warned of things to come. And the bottom line was, you better know how to connect mm -hmm. with your creator. You need to know how to meditate, how to put yourself in that still place because yeah. you're going to need to to do that you're going to need to be still and many it's hard to be still in a storm but man you're and gonna... many people poo pooed that they didn't like that uh they thought they thought it was very negative because everybody wanted a very happy positive uh, they always wanted to hear something but there's miracles in everything yeah in everything so look at what's happening now is that it's finally people are really needing to connect i spend much of my time praying. I'm like in a constant state of prayer. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's necessary. Yeah. It really is. It's, it's what keeps me sane, mm -hmm. you know, because there's a lot going on there. Yeah. I mean, you know, those of us that were trained to be heroes, we're like, how do I fix this? And it's like, you can't, baby. You just, you're not supposed to. You're, you, this is in God's hands kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, we've got to forget about controlling anything, you know. Yeah. Uh, That's the hardest to, thing. Is when you try to be in control, it all falls apart. Yeah. And then you have to go to God, you know. Yeah. Because <laughs> God's going to say, hey, uh, I'm in control. You're not in control of this. We talked about this a lot. Yeah. About you know. releasing the outcome and just letting letting it go. Yeah. You know, those two words, what if, will drive a person crazy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got to stay present in the now and, and pray, pray hard. You know, pray for everybody. Yeah. Pray for the bad people and the good people. So what's interesting also is, is the information about the Conscious Life Expo that we'll be going to. 
um, that apparently whatever my gut was telling me that we needed to be there is because we are going to be meeting people. Yes, that we are. Going, we're going to be changing their lives and they're going to be changing our yes, lives. Yes, as they're feeling the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as there's an energy spreading across the world about this. Yeah, there's going to be some incredible... i got a rush right now. There, there's going to be some people that are praying for people like us to be in their lives just as much as we're praying mm-hmm. for them to be in ours. So it's like we're all manifesting each other right now. We'll almost recognize each other when we do meet. Like, do I know you from somewhere? It'll be that kind of yeah. situation happening. And then there's something like, I hate it to say earthquake, but it seems like there's going to be an earthquake over there. I hope that's wrong. But that wasn't me saying it, so... Well, it, it's it's a bonding experience for sure. It'll be yeah. a bonding experience. Oh, yeah. Whatever yeah. happens is going to be bonding. Yeah. Well, it's not... Uh, it's not going to be bad, though. I don't think. I, I, why is this coming out of my mouth? Ah. But, yeah, something's going to happen while we're there. Interesting. And, uh, yeah. And I kind of I got a flash of that a couple of days ago. I was like, oh, God, what if we're there and something happens? And, and I said, somebody you just being paranoid, you know, because you haven't traveled in a while. And the last time you traveled, something happened. Exactly. For real. <laughs> I died. You, you died. <laughs> I got sick as hell. Got that train thing. You know, it was terrible. Yeah. We, we all. We all had some. We all had a little bit of death there. Yeah. 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 We did so, mm-hmm. and then we couldn't get out. You know, everybody was having a hard time getting out. They were closing borders and stuff. So, right, right. I mean, that's my first foray into the sky and all that. You know, mm, me too. Flying and everything. It's been a while. So, it, uh, but it's going to be good. It's going to be okay because uh, we're all gonna. Uh, it's like we're just going to be on fire. We are just going to be lit up. Great. So. Yay! Oh, wow. Having fun on the deck at Alva's. So we just finished a really interesting session. Okay, yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling about this? Uh, well, I feel better than I went in. I, was, I had a lot of pressure up here. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't feeling well. Now I'm feeling a lot better. So the beginning of this session was totally personal, so you didn't get to see that. But you saw a lot of stuff. I did, and you know, when I'm under, it's like a download, it's coming through my head and just coming out, and uh, then when I come out, there's visuals, it's like a, like remembering a vivid dream, Wow. so then all the details that, you know, because you don't have time to see it, you have, it's too busy coming through, right. does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, it's not like a dream, but it's a dream when I come to. So one of the things that we were discussing is that uh, Sabrina and I and Laura Weaver and a few of the other Rainbow Warriors, which is what we call our friends that went to Peru, we're going to be at the Conscious Life Expo in Los Angeles uh, from like the uh, afternoon of February 9th to the evening of the 13th. We're leaving on the 14th, early morning. Um, the reason we're going is because I had heard about this Conscious Life Expo this year. I've heard about it for many years, but it didn't really interest me. But this year, when I heard someone was going, my solar plexus just opened up so wide that I couldn't contain uh, the excitement. And it wasn't like I had an idea of what we were going to do there. I called up Sabrina. I called up Laura Weber, and I said... We just got to go. We have to go. We have to go. And the, and what? And kept, when Alba says you have to do this, <laughs> it's like well, the, the solar listen. plexus was just it, it was expanded so much. I, I couldn't. It's like I couldn't fit it into my body anymore. That's crazy. And I said we have to represent. Our energy has to be at this Conscious Life Expo for some reason. So um, 
by the time you see this, we will, we will be on our way or there. And so I hope that you will come out and meet us, find us somewhere. I'm, I'm the real short one. Sabrina's the one with the hair. You'll see you'll me. See us. You'll see her first. At the top of the crowd, you know. Yes, and, and you'll have to look down to find me. So I'll point down and go, there's Alva. Yeah, but this was, this was a, a, a difficult one to listen to because of uh, all the, all the stuff that that was being yeah there was some dreadful things in there i'm sorry but it uh it's it's necessary it's necessary evils are happening yeah. right now and they're going to come to a head and it's all going to be fine i mean everything is is I, I think of things that have to fight through the ground to come up and yeah. bloom and be beautiful. That's, Every, like the birth, birthing process. It's a birthing process for real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It ain't pretty, but. It, no, no. It's not pretty to, to. And even seeds, when they sprout, I mean, they, they're in the dark, and right now we're in the dark. We are. And so we're getting ready for this new world, and uh, yeah. It's, Hang on. <laughs> it's it's going to be rough waters for a while. Get off of there. Little bugs? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Florida. That's Florida. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. We're going to be doing more of these. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll be more lighthearted. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Because I came in going. Yeah. She says, well, what do you want? I said, I, I'm for the last couple of days I've been just trying to be in a peaceful state of mind and, and be open and I've been in a lot of prayer you know yeah. going whatever needs to come through and I didn't know if it would be any big you know fireworksy kind of stuff or day to day stuff so it was a little of both yeah we, we talked a lot about her own personal life which is not public for public consumption and then we talked uh, one of the interesting things in the video is that when Sabrina got to the house she saw me uh, crouching in front of the door, kind of fixing things. She led with that, yeah. I, dr I drove up and I said, oh, there she is. You know, what's she doing? And it looked like she was wearing all black, and obviously she's not wearing black wearing today. A peach colored top there. And, and then uh, she was reaching down like she was fixing, fixing something up or something. And it was a, another aspect of her. Yeah. That's what came out. Because I was like, well, maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. Because I'm always like, you know, <laughs> what could that be? <laughs> you know, but nope. It came out that that was another aspect of her. Then she has the wisdom or whatever to say, oh, are there other aspects of me? And I was like, well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here. Right here. On this thing. Yeah, the, the Indian, the yeah, Indian version of me. the Indian chief guy that looks over the land. He's like the head of five of them that look over this land. Yeah. Been here for hundreds of years. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she's learning wisdom from him. One aspect of her. Yeah. Well, you know, she's in there making some tea or something, and an aspect of her is out here. Isn't that interesting? You know, I've been thinking about this a lot lately because, you know, the older you get, the more forgetful you get. And I've just thought, you know, is it really forgetfulness or am I switching like different dimensions when I go from one room to another? Because I just feel like, okay, you know, it's like every room has a different yeah. story. And what, what am I doing in this room is different than I'm doing in the other room. So when you get into this room, all of a sudden it's like a different part of you is here and saying, hey, why don't we fix the curtains here where you were just thinking of doing something in the other, uh, the office. So I think there's a lot more about this multiplicity of ourselves. Yeah, because that makes me feel smarter instead of just going in the other room going, what the hell do I walk in here for? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll backtrack, <laughs> go back in time, and remember why I was coming in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd much rather think it was yeah. <laughs> fun <laughs> in the 60s. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do it. I babysat everybody. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm tripping now and just having a session, you know. <laughs> so so uh, I'll just uh, tell you what's coming up in the future. Um, I am going to be traveling a lot more this year. 
this year I'm going to Maryland twice. Uh, Maryland is, uh, there's a conference center there, Bon Secures, beautiful place. And I'm doing uh, a, a, a introspective hypnosis class with Antonio Cl Sangio. Um, Sabrina took the class. Sure did, life changing. And uh, if you're even interested in, in hypnosis, it's an excellent class, so this, that's gonna be a retreat. Uh, I'm gonna be going back there for a workshop for those of you who are not interested in doing any hypnosis, but you wanna work on yourselves. This is gonna be another workshop retreat for a few days. And then I'm gonna be going to the Netherlands uh, to do a class um, in this place called Samaya, which is a beautiful place. And I'm thinking of even more stuff in the future that I'll tell you about that I'm gonna be doing while I'm there. So if any of you are watching and you want to participate with me, please come join me and uh, I'd love to meet you. All right, well, this is the end of this video. Until the next one, much love to you. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.